Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, beside me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Now in the last video, I attached these two four deck panels and I got some work done inside the foc'sle. And today I'll start off by taking off this peel ply and making a template for the next deck panel over here. So let's get going on that work. Oh, and before I forget, if you are new around here, please do subscribe. I'm working on a goal to get to 10,000 subscribers. So please make sure you hit subscribe and help me get there. All right, now let's get to work. It's pretty wild to me to see the first deck to hull joint fiberglassed over on the boat. And this is two layers of 10 ounce cloth and a layer of six ounce cloth, ranging in width from 20 centimeters or about eight inches down to 12 centimeters or about five inches. All right, I've got this huge piece of cardboard to make my template for the deck. I'm gonna start with that port side big deck panel all the way back to the main bulkhead. And I think what I'm gonna do is attach it with thickened epoxy and fiberglass over the seams, but I'll wait to do the underside so that I don't have to work over my head until the boat's flipped over. I figure the boat has to be flipped over anyway, so why not at that point crawl in the hole where the doghouse is gonna go and then I can do the fiberglassing while the boat's upside down, save myself a lot of trouble. All right, using the template, I've got the port side deck panel all marked up. Now, since I've got the table set up and the foam and everything, I might as well uh, flip the template over and use it to make the mirroring deck on the other side, starboard side deck panel. So let's knock that out. While I'm cutting deck panels, I might as well cut the last remaining deck panel that goes over the combing here on the starboard side. You may remember from last week, my friend Rowan, the engineering student, made for the port combing deck. He went ahead and made that, so thanks again to Rowan. Here's mine for the starboard side. Let's give it a quick dry fit. 
Okay, this slides right in here. Yep, this is gonna work fine. And then right here will be a hatch for the only deck locker on the boat. Looks good. You can see here that the foam dips a bit too low, doesn't meet this curve here. So what I'm gonna do is add a little temporary support right here. I made one up, I glued two pieces of already very thick cardboard together in this shape. And we're gonna clamp it in right here. And then we'll put some weight on here. That gets closer to what we want. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I've got all the fiberglass I need cut and rolled up here for use. And then on the opening where the deck is gonna go, I've put blue painter's tape everywhere that the edges of the deck would meet. So this is my game plan. I'm going to fiberglass on 1708 and then a layer of six ounce on top of that on the deck top and then as soon as that's all wetted out I'm going to carry the deck panel place it right on top of the boat and bend it in place with a little bit of carefully placed weights and let it cure and that way it can perfectly get the bend it needs right on the boat then once it's cured the next day I'll take it off flip it over on my table here and fiberglass the underside. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that now. Okay, the deck panel top is all fiberglassed. Now I'm gonna move it into position over there. Okay, I've successfully placed the deck panel on top here and just some light weights on it, just enough to make it meet that curve perfectly of the boat. Okay, it's the next day. I went ahead and removed all the weights off of this deck panel. This was the easiest way I could think of to get this complex curve onto the deck panel. So now I just need to see if I can pop it off and flip it over, because the next step is gonna to be to fiberglass the underside. Well, all right, that looks good. I'm gonna clean up the edges and fiberglass the other side. And then next time we can get this all epoxied onto the deck. That's gonna be it for this week though. I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And if you'd like to support the project, that's a great way to do it. You can sign up at Patreon 
There's links for that in the description as well as other stuff like the Amazon wish list. That's a great way to provide some much needed gear for the boat. And if nothing else, hey, please give a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Get back to your station or I'll have you shot from here! Well, shoot, suck!